Hey world, we're back here in my kitchen on this rainy, rainy Sunday afternoon and I'm here with you today to bring you another baking recipe. I know my first one was a baking recipe and it's supposed to be random, but I just wanted to film something so another five months didn't pass between this video and my second one like it did with the second one and the first. So it's just a three ingredient breakfast cookie. Sorry. Do you see this? Morbius! Morbius! Life with cats. The recipe anyway, is a three ingredient breakfast cookie that only uses two very ripe bananas that need to be mashed, one cup of uncooked quick oats. The recipe also calls for a quarter cup of mini chocolate chips, but I only have normal sized ones, so I'm just gonna go with a half a cup, possibly three quarters of a cup. If a half a cup doesn't look like it's quite chocolatey enough for my liking, which is pretty chocolatey. I'm just gonna show you the ingredients real quickly right now. We have two bananas that still need to be mashed. We have I'm gonna put down my drink before I spill something on the ground for a third time while filming. So, we have... Oh! And I spilled oats on the floor. Well done. We'll attend to those later, like I usually do. I've been sensing a pattern. First episode... Rice Krispie Squares all over the floor. Second episode... Face mask, hair mask, all over the floor. Third episode, oats, all over the floor. I don't know if people show things to the camera that's like this without spilling them everywhere. Apparently I'm just too much of a noob to know how to hold things up to a camera. Anyways, oats are the last ingredients. So I'm just gonna quickly rearrange the camera, clean up the floor again, and I'll be back to show you the mashing of the banana and then mixing everything all together. And then after that, it's just putting them on a cookie sheet and baking them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, guys. See you in a matter of moments. All right, we're back. I've zoomed into the bowl. I'm trying a new method of filming cooking slash baking. And I'm just gonna start mashing. Mashy, mashy. only use the optimum parts of smushed bananas. All right, so there's that, and I'm just gonna take this fork and put it over there. And it says to mix in the oats. Oh, there's some stragglers. And it says to mix in the chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna start with a half a cup, which is already the double amount. And it's supposed to just mix them all up. So, mixy, mixy. This is the second recipe of cookies I've made this afternoon. I made these ones, which I will hopefully not spill over the floor. Made these, literally almost right before making these ones. But I really wanted to try this three ingredient breakfast cookie because I've seen it go around the internet. And I also really wanted to use those bananas up because I mean, can always put them in the freezer, but making is so much fun. You know what? So this is what it's looking like at the moment. Whoop, I think I just flung some batter on my arm. So this is with regular rest the regular recipe and half a cup of regular sized chocolate chips 
I think I'm just gonna add in the other quarter cup because why the fuck not? Oh yeah! Can't go wrong with extra chocolate chips, I tell ya. Swashing back my other video, the hair mask one, and I realized I say the word so, so frequently. So, oh that looks way better. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm just gonna get this spoon kind of decaped, but is that there? I'm just gonna turn these. Sorry, that was like deafening there for a second. I'm back with my greased cookie sheet. I just used a little silicone brush and some coconut oil. I have a spoon to spoon out the mixture onto the cookie sheet. I'm probably gonna have to do several batches just because this is probably not all gonna fit on one. Anywho, I've preheated the oven to 350 like the recipe said. I'm just gonna start taking spoonfuls like this size out and just start placing them on the sheet. I'm gonna be really excited if this is like a healthy, super tasty way of having chocolate chip oat milk cookies because those are my favorite type of cookie ever. Like, I'd rather have oatmeal chocolate chip than regular chocolate chip. When I was making the other recipe of chocolate chip cookies, my lovely boyfriend's request, I cut the cookie size in half. They said to scoop out a quarter cup of the batter onto the cookie sheet per cookie, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's like a beef patty sized friggin' cookie. Like, who's gonna eat that much cookie? And like, I feel like. Even I would get sick if I tried to eat one of those size cookies in, in like one sitting. Just imagine the cookies I showed you, but double that size. I'm just gonna go get a second baking sheet, slide these ones aside, and I'll be right back. I am back with a new cookie sheet. And just kind of divide it into two. Make sure I haven't forgotten how to put any chocolate chips. Alright, so there's 
the second tray of cookies ready for the oven. I'm just gonna go wash my hands off and rearrange the camera again so I can show you guys the majestic entering the oven shot. And I'll be right back to do that. Okay, bye. I'm upside down. The oven is preheated and in they go. Try one. And tray two. Bye bye cookies. We'll see you in 15 minutes. Bye. Hey guys, we're back. And look at the cookies are done. I've already taken them out of the oven, obviously. And what you didn't see was me pausing the 15 minute timer to sprinkle some optional cinnamon on them, but I fucking love cinnamon, so yes please. Look at it. It's so cute and adorable compared to normal cookie with flour and eggs and all of that fun stuff. I'm gonna try and run right here for you. I'm gonna keep this short because I actually burned my thumb making these cookies, so I kind of feel like just vegging the rest of the night. I think I'm all baked out. Anyways, let's see how these little strange creations taste. Oh my god. Of course they're awesome. Look at that. Guys, serious win. If you want to get into baking and you want to do something healthy and you want to do something easy. These cookies, seriously. Three ingredients. Mix them all together in a bowl. It doesn't matter what, like order you do them in, just mash the bananas first and then spoon them out onto a cookie tray and put them in the oven 350 degrees for 50 minutes done delicious probably pretty healthy cookies hello it just seems like a total win-win situation anyways I'm gonna finish this cookie I'm gonna go sit my ass on the couch and ice my thumb for the rest of the night and I hope you guys have an amazing week, amazing day, and I will catch you in my next video. Peace.